Oh god, that's so loud. Master volume down. Down, 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 down. Okay. Uh, video real quick. Borderless. Okay. Alright, there we go. You guys can see now. We're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this Dorans. Um. And let's change some settings, shall we? Colorblind mode. Um. Let's keep it on that. I don't really care. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me do this. Uh, spell one. Normal cast. Okay, that's good. It's going to colorblind now. Okay, we're good, we're good. Interface, HUD scale. Let's get that all the way down. Chat scale, don't really need that to be that big. Minimap's always 100. Mm, I don't know what all this. Show all chat, let's do that. Show timestamps. Show summoner names. Show spell costs. Okay, let's do that. And then game, um, sure, this is fine. Preside offset, oh, I forget. Yes, that's annoying, I don't want that fixed offset. Okay, there we go. All right, we're playing Caitlyn. Um, just gonna press these buttons here, uh, at least turn up the volume a bit. Okay, we're good to go. We have our oh, that's kind of cool. It tells you the range of the war. That'll be that'll be useful for um, for pink wards especially. So we're, we're gonna play Caitlyn support. We're gonna we're gonna harass them with our support skills here. Press those buttons. We actually does so much damage. Okay, so those interested in knowing, Caitlyn changes. Although all her abilities look the same, they are slightly different. Um, her Q. As it says here, you know, it's a narrow shot, and after you hit a target, it gets wider. So how Caitlyn Q has always been in the past, that is how it is after you hit somebody. But until you hit somebody, it's really narrow and harder to hit. So I'm assuming that's going to be more rewarding when you hit it. And also, if you'll notice, I leveled up Caitlyn Traps, and I instantly have three. Um, oh my. Caitlyn traps are on a charge system now, like Team of Mushrooms. That is my, my knowledge. So, yep, you can charge the traps um, to place multiple at a time, and that's good too. Also, if, um, if your target, I believe it's net also, but if your target stands on a trap, then they also um, get headshot on your next auto attack like instantly or something. And um, I'm just gonna use my potion here. Yeah, free headshot on him because because he stepped on my trap. So I got a free headshot. So yeah, if they step on your head, if they step on your trap, or they get hit by your net, your 90 caliber net, then your auto attack at range is also increased. I'm fairly certain I saw that on like the video. Um, representation or whatever. Um, so if I ever hit them with a net then you'll notice how my auto attack range will get increased. So even though I net like out of range I'll still be able to follow up with an auto attack. I think that's a really cool thing they implemented. So yeah see my auto attack range just got higher. For only one auto attack though so it's only worth one. You can't like use it, get long range auto attacks, and then use it to team fight with. It's just one auto for a follow up like, and I'm pretty sure it's a follow up headshot too. It's not just one auto, it's a, it's a headshot, so, yeah. Just gonna place some traps. What's this? Headshot count. Oh, it's my passive, it just looks different. Okay, it's fine with me. Oh no! Oh god, we're just as bad at CSing on PvE as we are on live. Oh boy. Got him. Hey, 
headshot, net. Oh, we missed the net. I was going to go for the headshot, net, headshot combo. See if that was a thing. But I was too out of range. Alright, so Caitlyn's support is shaping up to be way better than Nautilus support. In case anyone was ever wondering about maining Nautilus, now you know you should go in a different direction. Oh god. Okay, I didn't take the tower shot. Oh, that's cool. Auto attacks, um... Headshots, I mean, I didn't play too much Caitlyn before, but I always just kind of assumed that uh, augmented auto attacks didn't really work off of structures. Like, if you were if you were to attack a tower as Draven, you wouldn't throw your axe up in the air to have to catch it. It would just not work. So I assumed you wouldn't be able to uh, stack headshots, but you can. Easy every time. Good job, Rek'Sai. Okay, good stuff so far. Now we get to go look into the amazing world of new AD carry items that I've never, I've, I haven't, I've not put extended time into. This is, this is good. <clears throat> Damn, Karma's pissed. Okay, let's see. BF Swords 1300 gold. I like that. Oh, he actually went AFK? Is he that salty? What the heck? Like, he, he's got 29 CS to 13. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. We can win. Okay. BF Sword. Pretty sure it's still necessary. Um, this might be kind of cool. I've got so much stuff to look at. Not enough time. Um, let's just get the BF Sword. That's no fun, actually. Let's not do that. Let's get something cool. Um, what is cool? Zeal items. Okay. Rapid fire can moving attacking. Yeah, your energized attacks gain thirty five percent range. So it's shiv, but it's not. Uh, it it's better than shiv, right? It's it's the same prerequisites as shiv. It's the exact same except. It gives less attack speed, same crit, and more movement speed, and more magic damage. So why wouldn't I get this every single time over Shiv? I don't know, that seems kind of weird. It's the same amount of money, but we'll buy that, and uh, we'll buy boots. Okay, so that's the thing. It won't be as cool, or it won't be as strong as just getting a BF sword, but... You know, whatever. We're not we're we're not in this for strength. We're in this for testing and checking what everything is. So we're gonna get this. So our energized attacks, which we get like stacking shiv. So we have an energized attack right now because we walked and charged it up to a hundred. I guess we have um, an extended ranged attack. Oh no! I don't even have the freaking item yet. Okay. Um, so just energized attacks deal thirty bonus magic damage on hit. So this is replaced Avarice Blade, essentially, I'm guessing. So instead of getting money, you just have magic damage on hit, which is pretty cool. I like that. It prevents people from just stacking. If, like, you get ahead and you get an early kill in lane, then it stops people from buying Avarice instantly and snowballing that gold just by farming. So... She, she, I don't know if this is PVE or if this is Caitlyn or what, but moving around, or maybe I just haven't played League in a while, but moving around seems really smooth. Extended range. So yeah. Anyway, the reason I'm going for this one is because I don't really need Shiv. Phantom Dancer, although I do think is a super good item. I mean, as far as testing goes, Phantom Dancer, we all know what Phantom Dancer is, right? It's been in the game for years. Um, the only difference now is your movement speed 
is only when you're in range of a champion. And this is new, which is cool. Like, the last champion hit deals 12% less damage to you. So if I'm 1v1ing an assassin, then they'll do 12% less damage to me. I think that's really good. Like, super good. But, for coolness purposes, it's just not the same and not worth buying in this game. Because I'm, you know, I mean, oh boy, I take less damage, but, I mean, this new gun is going to look so much cooler than a Phantom Dancer. Man, it's, it's a good thing I went A to carry support. Or, I would be a support without an A to carry. I assume her ultimate is the exact same. I don't really think they changed that. Um, yeah, it's the same. So, basically, Caitlyn changes. Her headshot... deals 50%... But my AD is bonus damage, okay. So that's good. Crit strikes. Wait, what? Oh! Hold on, that's all one sentence. Um, 50% AD is bonus magic damage, or just as bonus damage to champion. Increased by critical strike chance. So if I build crit at 50% AD, um, that increases, okay. Deals 250% total damage to minions. Have double range against tractor and targets. Okay. So, basically, by building crit on Caitlyn, you increase the amount of damage, the amount of uh, percent damage that your headshots do. So, by full build, your headshots will actually be scaling really hard. Which sounds nice. So, I'm going to go buy this item since I have it now. Um... So it's basically Shiv. This is Static Shiv, except cooler, because I guess now when you're at 100 stacks... Um, oh, you get bonus headshot damage? Look at this. Every time you level up trap on Caitlyn, bonus headshot damage on trap targets. So my headshot, which I get an instant headshot every time someone steps on a trap, my headshot now deals an extra percentage of damage, so I'm going to max W second. I think that's good to know. Net is the exact same. You know, like it, it looks the same. I wonder... Because it looks like this. there's a red circle around me. I feel like that's in my attack range already. I, I don't know how much my range is increased. Okay, it's increased, it's increased, I see it. It just didn't look like it because Caitlyn already had such a long auto range, but... Here, here, look at this. Okay, I'll attack that. Look, just look at my... When I get near 100, I'll press A. So this is my auto attack range, right? And when I watch it grow. Boom! Okay, so that's good. This item... Basically, what I've determined is that... Okay, the, <laughs> I don't have BF sword, but anyway. Basically, what I've determined is that all the AD carry items... You have you actually have to think about what you want to do in your team comp when you buy them. Like for instance, this is my my first impression and my 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 estimated educated guess. So this this item that I purchased right now, this is obviously in my opinion obviously at least this is a sieging item. Let's say you're playing Vayne or even Draven or something. I forgot I had summoner spells. It's been a while, okay? Anyway, so probably could have killed her there, but I would have died after the Nautilus anyway. But either way, so items. This is a sieging item. You're playing Draven. You can't get up to that tower because you'll get hooked from Blitzcrank or whatever the heck, so you get Rapid Fire Cannon. Not only will this increase your movement speed and crit by a lot, but you actually get increased range, so you can, every so often, you can attack the tower. You have Baron buff, but you can't get in range because you're vain. You right-click that tower anyway because you got this fire cannon, so it helps you siege. That's my impression. Gonna grab these boots here. Now, also, the zeal items, you've got Hurricane. It's the same thing, but it gives you less attack speed, I think. Yeah, this used to give you 70% attack speed. So this gives you less attack speed overall, but it gives you crit now and movement speed, so... 
it took some attack speed and gave you crit and movement speed. So that's good. So you're not missing out on those essential stats by buying Hurricane. It's not just an attack speed big steroid anymore. You actually get useful stats from Hurricane on top of the three target um, auto attacks. So that's good. Um, so this is basically, in my opinion, since you auto, um, auto attack three targets, this is primarily used for wave clear. The flash trap, baby. Got him. Easy every time. Okay. So, this is primarily used for wave clear. And, um... So that would mean that the shiv, just based off process of elimination, the static shiv would be specifically for single target DPS. But a cheaper single target DPS. The, the relationship between Static Shiv and Phantom Dancer are still the same. So you still get Static Shiv, um, help. Damn it! I placed the trap right as she started channeling her ultimate, and when I was placing my trap I was stuck in the animation, and I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't walk away, because I was stuck. Anyway, so, this is basically Phantom Dancer, but for poor people. But they're like the same price! What the heck? Okay, so why would anyone buy Static Shiv over Phantom Dancer? Static Shiv is the same price as the Rapid Fire Cannon. I mean, I guess you get slightly more attack speed, but you... I don't know. In my opinion, I'm never buying Static Shiv ever again, to be honest. That's just not gonna happen. So, never buying Static Shiv ever again, because, like, what's the point? So, if you want just an attack speed item, go that Phantom Dancer. I think that'll be better. Um, so, wave clear with Hurricane. Um, useless with Shiv. Sieging with Fire Cannon. And single target DPS and dueling potential with Phantom Dancer. Training Force, I don't even know, dude. It feels like it was just a stat swap. It no, it no, longer, no longer gives uh, AP. It gives some cooldown reduction, which is nice. Right? Cooldown reduction? I'm not... Yeah, it gives some cooldown reduction, but it took away some AD. It's it's still the same item, you know. If you want to play Corky or whatever, it's, it'll still work. So, don't worry about it. Training Force, basically the same. But it gives cooldown reduction now, which is nice for top laners. I think they were trying to move it away from being an AD carry item. So, anyway, we've got a lot of money, so let's spend it on this Last Whisper. That only costs 1,300 gold. Hell yeah, we're buying the Last Whisper. Okay. Last Whisper can build into two different things. There's this one that gives AD, physical damage, inflicts grievous wounds. So I get basically Morellos for AD carry. And then for this one, grants up to 15% physical damage against enemy champions with greater maximum health than you. So this is good for killing tanks. And this is good for, I don't know, like Vlad, I guess. So maybe I should just get. Yes? Hey. Yeah. Say hi. Oh, no problem. Oh, that, no, I'm recording. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. Sorry. That was just Jen's brother. Um. Okay. Uh, so 15% physical damage to targets with higher HP. I don't have that much HP, but. They're, they're not really going to be, be building much HP either. So let's get Grievous Wounds for Vlad. And after that, let's get some Lifesteal in here. Okay. So let's get some Lifesteal. What can we get? What is this? Death's Dance. AD, CDR, dealing physical damage, heals for 12% of the damage dealt. Okay. 12% of damage taken is dealt as a bleed effect over 3 seconds instead. You know, that just sounds cool. Um, I don't even know how good that actually is, but it just sounds like such a good thing. Especially since, for example, this lovely PvE game here, um, Vlad Alt Proc, 
Diana QR combo, Lux combo, alt whatever. All of that. Um, wow, he doesn't have a keystone. They don't have keystones. <laughs> they didn't pick any. I like how it tells you what the keystone they picked, though. Um, anyway. So. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. That, that one item. Hold on. Run into my trap, fool, or just die. Die, die it's cool. Nah, I didn't know if that would kill it. Um, so... Oh, what the heck did that do? <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Um, so that seems really cool. Good to, to dodge one-shots. Like, if you've ever... If you've, if you've been like me, and you've been getting one-shot by Zed Rengar every single freaking game, and, like, that's gonna be the item for you. Okay, well, this this game was really not as long as I would have liked it to be. Um, but regardless, it still had good information in it. Um, um, okay. I'm going to see if there are any more cool items real quick. I hope my desktop icons aren't showing. Hey, they are. That's cool. Thanks, desktop. Uh, awkward. What the heck? I don't want this. Oh my god. Get out of here. I don't. Stop. Okay. We back like nothing ever happened. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. Wasn't prepared. So. Okay. Any other cool items? Let's see. Items, items, items. Attack speed. Already went over all these, right? Dervish blade. Okay, so it's basically the new, the new mercurial. So new mercurial, and then everything else is the same. So uh, attack speed. Let's get crit. I don't think that's in Summoner's Rift. Okay, those are all the same. Damage. Man, I wish I could just sort by Summoner's Rift. Lifesteal. Alright, let's just go over the lifesteal items real quick. Now, everything actually looks the exact same except this. So I didn't actually need to check for any other items ever, but. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, if you are, I feel like this is really good to stop yourself from getting one shot. Just grab a Death's Dance, grab a Phantom Dancer, and I feel like your survivability just shoots way up. There might just be no need for ever buying, ever buying a, a, da, 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 da. a defensive item. That's the word. There's just gonna be no need for buying a defensive item ever again. So I don't know. That seems cool. But thanks for watching. Sorry for the the all the flubs. This is PVE action for you. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully some information got to you that you did not have before and you can use this information going into the preseason to, you know, have, be better equipped to win games and stuff and stuff. So thanks and stuff and things and stuff and I'll see you next time.